Have you just unlocked this okay? Uh, are you thinking to yourself, how on earth do I get that 8 to 10% score at a minimum? This is the score that most guilds are asking for with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren's runs in general. Some would expect more, but to be consistent, aim for 10%. And this video is hopefully going to show you how to do that. So, my lineup I use is the Daka Zombie variant. If you want to see how to do this with traditional First Order, check out the video that's being linked right now. If you're like me and you have Lord Vader or you do Vader Bomb or any other team that utilizes First Order characters such as crew, you're actually good to use the Night Sister variant. There is also the factor that we have to account for which is the RNG factor. Now, Daka can revive the team, however, it's not a guaranteed chance. So sometimes you get a very good RNG and you revive everyone, and sometimes you get awful RNG and revive no one. The other thing here is you can get much higher percentage. In fact, I probably could have got an extra one or two percent had I have taken a risk. Now, because I'm recording this footage and I'm on blue stacks right now, I did not use airplane mode. For you guys at home watching this video, please use aeroplane mode because at the end you will see if you take that extra turn before ulting at the end and you basically can survive with kylo you will get an extra one to two percent so that is something to take away obviously like i said of all these c pit videos these are guides and not necessarily a showcase of the best score ever because i could definitely get higher now let's kind of go through the very basics kind of like a checklist for this raid firstly you want kylo to ult two times that is the most important thing secondly you also want Kylo to have at least 500 stacks of Siphon as he goes into that last ultimate. If you're wondering what moves to use, always poke when you can. If it's available, you should be poking. Hux is going to be reducing cooldowns on Kylo. Kylo's going to be taking lots of turns, so always poke. Then, if poke is off cooldown, swipe. And if both are off cooldown, basic. During the first ultimate, you're going to be poking twice and swiping once. And during the second ultimate, you're going to be swiping twice and basically once. Now, if you're wondering what the mod should look like in your characters, Kylo should be as fast as possible. Don't worry about offense on him, speed is king. On Hux, again, as fast as possible. Thrawn, as fast as possible. <laughs> Night Sister Zombie and Daka, health is advised. Modding is not too complicated here. Hux refreshes cooldowns, do it again. Now, as you would have seen there, if we had a taken a risk, we may have taken one more turn, and Kylo may have done even more damage towards the end it probably would have gone down to 63 or 64 percent it's really not that hard a battle as long as you follow the advice i've given thank you all for watching and go out there and dominate some secrets